Hey guys, we're here playing Noise Shop up against RP. Got a weird opening hand. I think we'd keep it. I mean, what about the pawn shops? Hard to turn those down. The sucker can be good too if they don't want to res ice early. Of course they do, you just got Cortex locked, then you're sad. Future Perfect, Caprice, Tollbooth, Pup. Always nice when you can show two ice with Future Perfect and or two ice with gift and make them guess what it is. Let's get some suckers. An APD contract, yeah, I don't want it. Don't want it at all. Play it well outside. Start drawing some cards. Which is what we need. We can check this next turn if we really want to. Like we can play Pawn Shop and slam into it for two damage. Let's do that. He did put the pop. Okay. Hit the two best cards in my hand. Rude. Future perfect, we can't even bid, so it just drains a dollar from him. Caprice. Ah. Oh. This we kind of don't. Mm. We need the money. the agenda is. Alright, let's, uh, let's go in there. Obviously he's got the Jackson gone. Love to see an imp, but it's not meant to be, perhaps. Booth. Daily business show. Oh, so good. Did I get my fourth click that turn? Yeah, I did. That's good. There was the Caprice. Puts us in a bad spot. Future perfect in there. And 
we just get it. Nice. That's how you play noise. Elemental Health Clinic. I don't want to trash those until Imp comes up. And the hand size can help us, depending on the time of the game, too. So. Say at this point in the game, that toll with is that we don't want to see. It's exactly what we don't want to see. I want to see his imp. Let's gonna hit the inject. I wanna dump some more cards in our heap. Hopefully get anything that we can use for that. Four fire or four cards that we don't really We're gonna pay into the booth and then go for the remote. Uh I hate paying in the booth a lot. But we're gonna try it. I hate leaving these, this is so bad. Okay, he's gonna let us go. Enigma up top. Okay, let's make him res this at least. Get the corroder. Interns, crick. Oh, uh, that's that's unfortunate. We take out that scoring remote. We basically would need to slow burn both Eli's, like you know, like Deja and Parasites. That's fairly unexciting. Winning on Centrals is hard. So now he's got himself up to eight bucks, which means he can raise the toll booth, which means we're sad. Um, let's drop a parasite on that. Let's drop imp. Let's go in here for a token to look. Oh no, I should have ran the I'm stupid. Yeah, the crick. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Let's go in here, and now he has to res. Yep. Puts him to zero, but unfortunately, only slows him down. Oh, we're gonna 
play cash for four bucks, which is nice. We're gonna just slam to the crick. This is a Jackson will be sad. I'm gonna slam into whatever this is. Yep. I think we need to be poor and trash the mental health, but that's Jackson. I kind of want to trash that too. That's tough. Still happy get, getting a time walk there. Uh, let's think. Can you reasonably get to that mental health clinic at this at this turn? If that's a crick. I hate the archives now, it's so bad to hit that crick and let them get their mental health back. I mean we can gamble. Deja, Parasite, Clone Chip, that's not bad. Be killing these instead. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sold that that was right. But we don't want to have taxing ice on each central because then we have to bounce off of them before we go to the remote. It depends if we're going to be able to get in his HQ and get some suckers while he's poor, too poor to score. Really don't like to play at the night. On the archive just for the crick. Oh, there's two crick in the archives. Oh, I just saw that because we imped one. So if that's not Jackson, it's probably Jackson because he hasn't rested. It. It's the only thing that makes sense. So we have two ways to potentially win this. We can go the medium dig by burning the tool booth. Which we could have two suckers. We could potentially do it next turn. We do three runs and then burn it. Our other line is to try and take apart his remote so he can't score and then just uh, wait him out. But that's not the most consistent. He still has a lot of cards left. 21. And we played both injects, which reduces our ability to mill him as well. So I'm kind of thinking this R&D dig might be the way to go. Especially when you can repeatedly see the same feature perfect, you have a lot better chance to get it. Do do do. We have three viruses left, plus another clone chip. So 
See, worst case, we can just pay through these with Corroder. It's expensive, but you can do it. This booth is like David or Knight or Hardlock, and both of those are undesirable. Maybe he's out of ice here, now he's going to just try to defend his remote. Hmm. Oh no, Sandu in there. Brutal. Yeah, we should have destroyed this earlier, I think. That would have gotten us some mileage. So now we're in a spot where we... Oh, I meant to clone ship. Oh wait, I guess I had no MU. But this would have been here with the first counter and then it would have had the second counter. And we're going to hope to so play in Cyberdex, hopefully not. We're going to go in here, get the Jackson to fire off, get a sucker. at this point. Oh, that's Jackson. Maybe they're both Jacksons. Gift, gift, and one hidden card. Interesting. Oh, now the third Jackson is in the archive, so that's not a Jackson. It's not the blacklist either. It could be a boot camp. That, I guess. Oh, we get a Nisei. Hot oh, damn. I guess he's too poor to score it. So we're gonna go here, I'll lose three, and we'll burn the booth down. And we'll see a card. Susanu. All right, that's not relevant. Discard our extra pawn shops. He is going to get some money back together, which I don't love. He's drawn for ice.
And I'm actually just play whatever he has at this stage. He does not get anything. Okay. Um, I feel like it's time to just... He's discarded his Cortex. He's discarded his Pup. We see two Enigmas. We see Baku. Uh, what do we care about? I want to pawn one of my breakers, but I don't know what one we're likely to need. <laughs> I think we're going to pawn the corroder. And we're going to run. Let's see, two. Health, we'll leave that hedge fund. Okay. So we're gonna play the imp to get rid of the mental health. We'll imp the hedge fund and we'll see some fresh cards. Three cards, hedge fund we'll get rid of. Boot camp is fine, cortex lock is fine. And we'll go for two more fresh. Or we slow parasite that. I think we just go for two new looks. Bootcamp, Cortex, Hedge Fund, Caprice. I guess we'll trash the Caprice. This not a purge here. It's gonna play the Seuss new. I guess if he do if he does purge, we just go four times again. That's definitely true. But if he doesn't purge and we draw the David, we're gonna beat him. Not sure. These casts are a little awkward. I'm not sure if there's a better card for that slot. It is a lot of money if you get it at the right time. When they come, when you're poor, you're kind of sad. HQ. Interesting. Lotus Field from Archives. Nice play. Okay. Get the David, which is kind of useful. I think we want to. Ah, it's a tough call here. I think we want to pawn something. <sighs> I think this is a recovery turn. Not sure this is right. This might be too slow because we're letting him take his money back up. Daily business show. So he's now filtered the cards out. Isn't purged this turn. I think you gotta purge this turn, right? He's gonna try to score. It's fair too. I mean he has a third Nisei. We can't really react to it. Um
I think we pawn the sucker here. We pawn the mimic here. That's not bad either. Sucker tokens are actually a little bit relevant. If we wanted a parasite clone ship, we would have get to play Psy. We need to beat the Lotus Field here. Now let's get cash out. And let's go at it. I want to break this Lotus Field and then I want to get cash out, which will, okay. Okay, he might token me. Yeah, he's gonna use the say token on that. That's fair. Now does he purge next turn to try to score is the question. He's gonna purge. That seems reasonable. So we're gonna get a bunch of money and a bunch of cards. I wanna imp and go through. We parasite. No, we don't really get in no matter what. I think we just crack the imp. Go in. Get the Hades. GG. That's, yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure if with the Hades is. It's great if you can score it, but it's fairly tough to do so. So I'm not sure if that was the best strategy overall. Like, we went for the R&D lock because we happened to have our medium and a lot of ways in. But we could also have, tried, have burned both these Eli's, made him play the Lotus on the remote, maybe even got the grid of the Caprice. It just takes a lot, a lot of clicks to do that. And we were, I don't know, it felt, it felt pretty reasonable to me that he would have to take turns responding to our threat rather than pushing it forward his own game plan. Yeah, tough to say. Um, thanks for watching, guys.